hi guys. So today I want to talk about the creation of the world. In the beginning, there was just the spiritual world. Um, lots of people call it God, Allah, universal mind, source energy. Um, I call it I am because when I hear the voice in my head, it's I am. Uh, and the only truth in the world was that I am existed and that I am's thoughts created immediately. So I am created the earth and it was projected into the physical world. And I am created all the plants and all the animals and then I am created humans. Now the difference between plants and animals and humans is that I am is plants and animals because everything in our physical world is simply a projection of universal mind or I am the spiritual world but I am is constantly in humans the his thinking thoughts that create so um, animals are running on a set program just like plants. It's very much like uh, DNA. They uh, are born or they're planted and you know what's going to happen with them. They're going to grow to be however tall they're supposed to grow to be and they're going to live however many years they're supposed to live and then they're going to die. They're not going to create anything new with their thoughts. And the same thing for animals. Um, animals have a little bit of a limited ability to roam, but they have animalistic urges that causes them to basically continue with their life. Um, they have the urge to find food. They have the urge to um, have sex and continue their species. And they have the urge to find shelter, keep themselves safe, um, things like that. But they're not creating anything new for the universe. Whereas humans, every thought we have is directly I am's creative thought. The ironic thing is that when the earth was created, I am came down into the humans. Um, and that was the Garden of Eden that you've heard about, I'm sure. And... Uh, it was really exciting in the beginning because I am was able to touch, taste, feel, smell, and hear in the physical world for the first time. So it was so exciting. But what happened after a while is it wasn't so exciting. All of his thoughts were manifested or created immediately. And uh, it got boring real fast. So he decided to give everyone a persona. And you have a persona, I have a persona. My persona's name is Aaron. Your persona's name might be uh, Steve or uh, Betty or Sue. Doesn't matter what your name is, it's who you think you are and it's the reason you think that you're not God. Thank you.